Hello, Libra. This is your mid-July to August reading. This current year. Yay. Oh, I almost forgot some. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hold on a second. Sorry, I had to write Virgo's title down. This is for some of you rising in Venus. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game after all. We're going to see what's going on with you this time around, Libra. Sorry if I don't remember what exactly has been going on with y'all. I have literally worked a lot, so. 107.75 hours to be specific. Never doing that again. <laughs> well, not me, I probably will. But that's beside the point. Okay, Libra, what's going on with you? Victory! Do 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 I always sing that song whenever I hear the word victory. Um. Okay, so which is it? Do you feel victorious? Or do you feel left out in the cold? Looking for somebody to let you back in, you know? It's kind of a contradiction. Uh, communication, reaching out with the star, could be um, an Aquarius you're dealing with, too. And not being able to walk away from something. Eight of Cups reverse, like that one cup just keeping you there, like you can't let go. It's never too good. Okay, so like you feel victorious in action, but it's like, you know, um, in spirit. Because Pentacles isn't just about like stuff or material or money, right? It's like, spirit has something to do with like the Pentacles as well, you know, flowers and shit, right? Nine of Pentacles... Or, oh, god damn it. Nine of Swords reverse. Someone's dreading that communication with the star or Aquarius. Just looking at it being like, ah, oh, I'd rather go back to feeling like a victor. And it's like, do you, you know, do you really? Or is it, is it trying to avoid something like, you know, getting scolded for the shit you've done? It doesn't matter how much you love somebody. You're still getting scolded, right? It's like someone just doesn't want to write for because it, it means they have to face the light of day one way or another. Could be a Virgo as well, doesn't want to communicate. Let's see. Then we got Knight of Wands, someone swiftly taking action. Not as impulsively as the page, but at least they're going the right direction. It's forward, right? Could be Le Oh, okay. Well. Maybe more impulsively than what I thought it would be. I apologize. Um, both could be Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Fire sign wanting to approach, take action, and then they just do so very swiftly. The vibration for this? The devil. Reverse. It could be Capricorn. Someone might be sneaking the fuck out after causing some chaos. Or the devil's just leaving because, you know... What the fuck is there to do with nothing to do or nobody to play with? You don't want to play my games? It's fine. I'll take Russian roulette somewhere else. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, devil sneaking away. The devil is going away. So if you're dealing with a devil person or a Capricorn, they're going away. And if you didn't like them, there you go. Like this person wants to turn away from the devil, but they're still kind of hanging on. You're dressed in the same red as them. And then they got somebody trying to run towards them. And then just like start sprinting on stilts towards them. Now this victory, right? This six of wands came with some sort of clarity. Or some idea just popped up in somebody's head, right? Where working on something was a surrender? Like, they should have worked on something rather than just gave up on it? Is that what I'm reading? That's the clarity? With this victory they got? Like, 
it would have been more victorious to put the effort in than to just let something go. They got the Five of Pentacles down below where they're feeling like left out in the cold. They're roaming the streets, naked and homeless, no hair whatsoever. They're, like, their fingernails are now glowing balls on sticks. Uh, some cycle did not end very well. Like, it ended, but it ended up pretty fucky. Like, Trailer Park Boy is fucky. It's greasy as shit. Um, yeah, they wasted time trying to be a martyr in this. Wasted a lot of valuable time. When it came to some sort of relationship between somebody, either your relationship or someone who's dealing with this relationship, Libra. But because, like, you know, this person decided they want to live out on the streets and just let shit get fucked up. Now, the thoughts and feelings. There's somebody who wants to reach out, communicate. Could be you, Libra. You're being very decisive about how you're trying to do that or you're something you're trying to cut off in order to be able to do that. Could also be an Aquarius or a Gemini in this as well. You might be wanting to go back to take a leap of faith with somebody. You might be looking forward at this and shit. Um, okay, you want to take a leap of faith, but at the same time, it's like... You're kind of like looking back, trying to figure out some notes. You could be looking at Earth sign, but it's like you're looking, but you're not offering anything. It's like a, a window shopping. That's what you're doing. You're window shopping. You are window shopping for information. But you're worried about being a loser? Or not having the victory? Or having people in your house you don't want being in your house? Like you want to communicate, or somebody wants to communicate, but it's like... It's an image thing. Okay. Eight of Cups reverse. Someone wants to let go, but it's just that one cup that's just not letting them out. It's like an invisible wall. If that cup wasn't there, you'd be able to leave the scene. But it's just, it's that invisible wall. And it's really annoying, because you know you can just jump over it, you can crawl under it, you can go around it, but no. Because it's there, it's a, a complete invisible wall. You can't get out of it. You kind of want to look for a reason to stick around still. And you're just eyeing shit. You're just eyeing this devil that's over here. And I feel like you're kind of trying to get away from, too, that's escaping. But you're still mulling about some shit. I feel like you're mad because you don't have any control over this devil. So it easily could be a Capricorn trying to get away from you. Or it just could be somebody who did some, like, fucked up shit getting away and you feel like, damn, I can't believe I let somebody in that I shouldn't have. Like, someone stole from you or something. Nine of a Swords Reverse. You, you got some fears about what you're doing, but you definitely want to charge ahead. Could be dealing with a Cancer right there. You're trying to make shit happen with the Magician. You're going to make something happen. Um... Here's Leo's card, but it's also kind of like, I've, I've been reading it for other people earlier, and I feel the same with you, it's like, you can't just close the lion's mouth and think that that's going to keep it fed. Just because you think it's going to roar does not mean that it's not trying to tell you it's hungry. Like, yeah, imagine that lion being your shadow side, and instead of you taking care of or feeding your shadow side so it doesn't act up or whatever, you just keep shutting its mouth, being like, shh. Nobody wants to hear you. Just go do something, you know? One of those things where it's just like you kind of like are quieting them down instead of like actually taking responsibility for it. So be careful with that. But I think you're trying to learn how to do that anyway. We have the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. They're coming in and they just want to start... <laughs> they just want to start arguments and shit. They just want to start fighting like a distraction. Like, or, or this is you wanting to move very quickly and start arguments, get stuff going so you can talk, put stuff in quickly about some sort of betrayal. 
Uh, if this person comes at you and trying to start some fighting, you're going to come back at them, but it's like betrayal all around, so... It's like when they come in, it's just the battle. When you come in, it's like, oh, okay, well, you need to die. Damn, we were like, you're just gonna go in like that. Okay, that's fine. A page of wands reverse. Dude's coming in faster, more impulsively, more immature. Try and act like, you know, oh, everything's cool. Everything's fine. Like, you know, I just wanted to see how you were doing. And then, boom, tower. Trying to keep things stalled. Whatever this is, with the knight and the page, both of them, like, yeah. I don't like them. I feel like they were just coming in, you know, pretending to be cool when in reality they're coming in with, like, a fucking vendetta, almost. Under the guise of, like, good news and wishes, and then it's like, no. I'm going to break some news to you and you're not going to be able to move anywhere. Especially not to this scenario right here. So, be very careful, Libras. And that's your reading for mid-July to August. Uh, thanks for watching my video. If you want to like, share, and subscribe, go ahead and do that. No pressure. Um, I'm not taking personal readings until after the 10th. But as soon as I am, I'll let you guys know. You guys have a good day. Be safe. I will see you later. Bye-bye.